Well, hi everybody. This is Pookie again, and um, I was asked today to create a video uh, explaining how to do split screens in Vegas here. Uh, there are a number of different ways that you can do split screens. I'm going to start off here uh, by pulling in uh, some video files. I'm going to take in two video files for right now. Let's see here. We got birds and um, how about a full moon? We'll bring in birds and a full moon. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have them on different tracks. Okay. It's important that you have them separated because you want to be able to display both of them at the same time without having them necessarily overlap each other. As you can see, when I click here, it shows in our little preview window. I'll make that a little bit bigger. It shows just the top picture. Okay, so what we need to do is you need to go to your, your event pan crop, like this, and you need to change the size of the event pan cropping, or you need to move it over. Now, you can just move it over like that. Okay, real simple. Now you see the moon in the background. Now if I play this, you have the moon and you have the birds. So that's one way to do a split screen. I think for most people they probably have figured out how to do that. Um, for doing a split screen, like let's say you wanted them in sections on the screen, okay, you would want to expand like that. Make your area a little bit larger. Now you can see there's a little window there. It's a little harder to see there. There you go. Now that gives you a little window. Since it's the top picture, it goes over top of the moon. Pretty straightforward. See, just like that. Now you can also obviously do multiple pictures side by side. I'm going to expand this out here so that when it plays it will play a little bit longer. We're going to do the same thing here with the moon. We're going to expand it out. Get to approximately the same size. Now one little trick here, the moon has a black background so it's really hard to tell that you're working with it. You can either come over here and change your background okay to give you a little bit better of a border okay or uh, probably the best thing you can do here is to go to your media generators and bring in a solid color something that's opposite of what you're working with just long enough for you to be able to see where the windows are and to see if they're the same size okay now these obviously aren't the same size not a whole lot you can do about that Unless you want to sit here and keep playing with it. But there is a better way to do it. On your control to the side, you have the ability to set your size and stuff. Now, for me, normally what I do, okay, I'm going to edit the birds here. Okay, I have this size, it's in the right position where I want it. I'm just going to save this as upper gotta think about this left <laughs> gotta think about it yeah okay I'm gonna save that as upper left okay now when I go to this the moon I'm gonna select upper left here it is in my list now that puts it right underneath there well I certainly don't want that so I have a couple choices I can use this here and lock it in so I, it will only move like right and left Okay, or I can lock it in so it will only move up or down. Okay, like that. Now it still gives me both videos playing at the same time, but now I have I've got two different windows, and I could put a different picture in the background here. Let's take that out. We're going to go ahead and put. Um, Let's put some uh, gold ripples in the background. There you go. 
I've got gold ripples in the background. Now, if you're creating menus like for uh, DVD or something, this is a really nice way of doing it. You can also set on here uh, motion points. Let me lock that in so it loops. Like it's starting out right now, the moon is starting out in the lower right hand corner. But I want to change that. I want it to move around the screen. Okay. I'm going to make it move up to the top. Now, one, now see, it's not lined up. So I can go here to upper left. Lock that in. And that saves on this point that I just saved. So when the video starts out, it's moving. Very straightforward. Now another thing that you can do, um, let's say you don't want to shrink down the video, but instead you want to uh, you want to use like in the moon video. Okay, I want to crop in just on the moon. Well, go back to my default here for the zoom. Well, that's not going to work because I want it in a little window, right? So then what you need to do is go to your um, video effects. There we go. And we're going to use cookie cutter. Cookie cutter is also how I'm making it look like I'm magnifying sections of the screen. And uh, we're going to choose cutaway section. We're going to just drag it up there. Click on that. Then you can change the size. Now, what I normally do here to make it a little bit easier is I add a border first. Okay, that way when I do my size, I can actually see where that border is going to be. Now, you've got a bunch of different shapes. Okay, a circle, oval, oval on its side. You've got rectangle. For most people, rectangle is what they want to use. You get that to approximately the same size. and then you can remove the border. Now that doesn't help you much because it's not in the corner of the screen for example. So what you need to do is move the area that that's cropping. And you can save you can save this also so that all you have to do is once you get the size that you want, uh, you can apply the same effect to multiple images. And then I would go to my zoom And then I just move that up there like that. Now keep in mind, I had that video down here before and it's moving upward. So that's why you didn't see it at the start. And then once it gets to the center and gets where I want it, there it is. Okay, so that's one way, you know, another way that you can do that.